Hey guys, welcome. This video, I wanted to talk about creating a method in this user class and overriding it in a derived class such as student. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So to do that, we'll create a method in here We'll call it, we'll just make something simple like say hello, which is just gonna output something to the console. And we'll make this void in public. We'll just say, hi, I'm a user, my name is plus. And now what we can do is we can just concatenate the first and last name. So we'll say first name plus a space plus last name. Now inside a student, we should have this available to us. So when we are working with a student object, what we can do is we can just say s dot say hello. We should probably give the student a name, so we'll say s first name, assign it. Executing this, it says, hi, I'm a user. My name is Smarty Nall. <laughs> I always forget about that last name, darn it. And we'll just call this not a candy just so no one gets this person confused with the smarty candies. Cool, well what if we wanted to make a specific version for students? Let's show you how to do that. So what we'll do is say at override, and then we'll say public void, say hello. And now we can say something specific to students, such as, hi, my major is, then we can put the major, and then maybe we can extend this by putting a period and saying inside the same string, my name is, and then put the first and last name. We can use those here even though they're defined in the user class. And we'll probably want to put a space between them. I think I got one extra parentheses there. All right, there we go. Let's run this. Hi, my major is null. My name is Smarty, not a candy. So we can go assign a value to this person's major, s.major, beautiful. So you can see we can use the user class as like a general class and then we can derive from that class and make things more specific. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out the next video.